Well, thank you so much, Matapelo. Good morning to you and good morning to our viewers. Political parties' representatives have started trickling in here at Constitutional Court, and we expect the court to start at around about 10 a.m. But we've listened to some other political parties earlier on, for example, the Congress of the People, sharing with us how they feel about this whole vote of no confidence being done in a secret ballot, even saying that uh, actually voting in secret is actually a, a right for everyone so that they are able to to, to, to vote uh, with their conscience so that they vote uh, uh, according to how they feel, not according to how the other person has forced them to, to, to do so. But however, to elaborate more now on how the Democratic Alliance feels about this day, I am joined by Mr. J J James Self, who's going to explain to us the Democratic Alliance is in support of this vote of no confidence being done in a secret ballot. Now, the day has come, the, the days that has taken the court to come to the decision, how does the Democratic Alliance feel about that? Well, we hope that the court is going to find that the Speaker has discretion in calling for a secret ballot. Uh, we believe that that is the right outcome because, uh, in principle, uh, people are elected to represent the voters and the voters have the right to know how their representatives voted. Therefore, for the most part, there ought to be an open ballot. But there might be compelling reasons why uh, a secret ballot is to be held, for example, if there's intimidation or death threats, uh, and then it would be up to those members to persuade the speaker that a secret ballot would be justified. Now, Mr. Self, uh, in terms of now, should the, the court grant uh, this permission for the speaker to have that discretion, should she now say, it is my discretion as the speaker, what's the next step forward if she does not allow the, the secret ballot? Then people who feel intimidated or in other ways forced to vote in ways that they don't feel comfortable with must go to the speaker and produce evidence and then if the speaker persists in that, then those people must take the speaker to court for not exercising her discretion in a rational way. Now, Mr. Self, it has never been done before, uh, the, 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 the vote of no confidence, and uh, there's no law that stipulates as to how the voting should be done. Now, regardless or besides the threats for those other MPs, what are some of the reasons also that has made you support the UDM in this call for, 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 for a secret ballot? Well, let me correct you. We are not involved in this court case at all. We said that we would abide the outcome of the court. We recognize that this is a complicated issue and that there are arguments both for and against, uh, but our view in principle is that all votes in the National Assembly should be open to the public because it's the public have the right to know how their representatives voted in every uh, situation. And for that reason, it is only in exceptional circumstances that we believe that a secret ballot uh, is justified. And just the other day in the Mahali City Council, they used a secret ballot in a motion of no confidence. And um, we, we believe that that was not justified because there wasn't any evidence of threats or intimidation. Now, uh, just one last question, Mr. Self. Now, should now uh, uh, the UDM win, what does this mean, for example, for all opposition parties in, in, in Parliament? And do you perhaps have someone in mind that you feel should take over, should this vote of no confidence be a success? No, I, I don't have anybody in mind, but one thing I do know, the Democratic Alliance brought this motion of no confidence because it believed that uh, Mr. Jacob Zuma is a disastrous president and that uh, the sooner he goes, the better. But we do believe that there's no one within the ANC that can self-correct that organisation and that what we really need is a new government and that is why we are working so hard towards 2019. Lastly, just one last one before I let you go. The ANC has made it clear that they are not going to let Mr. President Zuma step down. They have even gone further as the Secretary General saying that uh, uh, the ANC has ruled that they are not going to, to, to force him to step down. So that is the organizational decision. Are you still confident that uh, regardless of the divisions within the ANC, there are ANC MPs that are still going to vote with, with the oppositions in the vote of no confidence? Well, I, I have certainly heard people within that organisation that are desperately unhappy. 
And as you say, that organization is very divided. And it is up to those people to discover whether they have the moral courage uh, to come out in the open uh, and vote for, for what is in South Africa's best interest rather than what's in the ANC's best interest. Lastly, the parliamentary laws. Do you feel that there are laws that need to be amended so that we do not find our parliament in such a situation next time? Well, I don't know of any laws that need to be changed. Uh, I mean, this is a straight motion of no confidence. The rules provide for it. The DA brought it. We want that vote to take place as quickly as possible because we want uh, South Africa to get ahead and it can only get ahead under a new government. Thank you so much, Mr. Self. Well, that was the Democratic Alliance representative, Mr. James Self, explaining to us that as the Democratic Alliance, they are still very much confident that indeed some of the ANC MPs will vote with them in the vote of no confidence to take out President Jacob Zuma. However, none of the political parties are coming out with who exactly should take over the reins if or should the vote of no confidence should succeed. Well, thank you so much for that update, Nomosa. We will definitely get back to you again for the latest developments with regards to the judgment which will be delivered by the Constitutional Court. Eight and seven reporter Nomosa Pungula joining us live from the Constitutional Court with more details on the secret ballot case.